Let's, let's get up close, take a look. You got your posit upper with all of these different designs, these floral designs, and the foam posit material is a polyurethane material, just so you know. It has these indentations, it's supposed to represent a beetle. So that's what the indentations is on the upper. It's supposed to represent a beetle right there. And I love the upper, I think it looks sweet. You got your carbon fiber shank right there and looks tough as hell. Let's take a look at the actual outsole. You have herringbone traction, your one cent logo, and these do feature zoom air. Pull on the back with your one cent logo stitched in black on black. Check it out to more of that foam posit. And then we'll take a look at the medial side. As far as the fit, go true to size. If you have a wide foot, go up half a size. Definitely go up half a size if you have a wide foot. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. And once again, if you haven't banged that thumbs up button, please do so for the early look. I definitely had to go out of my way to get this for y'all. Bird's off you on the toe. Check it out. You've, you got your new buck. Your little swoosh on the side. Oval laces. Your gold swoosh pin. And then your pull up top right there. Birds of you looking in, booty system with your one cent logo on the footbed. And there you go with a close up HD look at these shoes. Let me know right now in the comment box below hot or not. You like the colorway? Do you like the design or not? Nah, it's kind of whack. These will be releasing once again on Valentine's Day. I will have information on my blog, thesneakerratic.com. On the release day in the morning, go there at 9.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll have a listing of everywhere you can find them. Also, don't forget, if you want me to review the Air Force One, let me know that in the comments. I definitely will give you a super detailed look on them. And let me know right now. Let's have a little discussion. Do you feel like foam posits are dead or not, nah, man? They will never be dead. They're always dope. I know they're not that popular right now, but I feel like... For me, at least, I don't care what's popular or not. I'm going to like what I like when it comes to sneakers. And foam posits, I will always love foam posits. It's always been a sneaker I always thought was super futuristic, really dope. And I don't mind the designs on the uppers. This one I kind of like right here. But the thing that I really want them to do is start bringing back more OG colorways. Older colorways we haven't seen in a long time. I really want them to bring back the UNC Pros. I don't know why they haven't brought back that colorway. If you know someone that works at Nike, tell them, bring back the UNC colorway. Why have we not gotten this colorway back? It's something that full posit heads want. We want this back. Maybe someone from Nike's watching. I have a few people that work at Nike Sportswear that follow me on Twitter. If you're watching this, bring back the UNCs. Like, why have we not seen this back yet? Yes, we got the Dr. Dooms and us foam heads. Appreciate that. We really did. I know I purchased my pair when they came out, and I love them. I actually wore them last week. If you follow my Instagram over at Real DJ Dells, you would have seen that on the stories i like to post on stories more than post photos um definitely follow my instagram real dj dells d-e-l-z but yeah let me know how you feel about phone posits and what you would like to see them bring back as far as even colorways or maybe you just dislike phone posits maybe you used to like them but you're like nah these things fell off they're weak now because some people feel like that some people get sick of a silhouette a model some get a little older maybe they feel like ah it's not really my thing anymore i know heads that stop wearing basketball shoes altogether they don't wear any basketball shoes all they wear is runners they're all about the adidas boost or some air maxes they're not rocking anything that has to do with basketball anymore they're not wearing basketball shoes as a casual wear they're not messing with that no more and i know a lot of people that stopped doing that as they got older me i'll always wear phone posits just like i'll always wear jordans speaking of jordans i did do a detailed awesome review on the air jordan infrared 6 it is a super detailed review i compare it to a lot of the models that's released even show comparisons with the og it is definitely a must-see video. Sadly, YouTube doesn't
doesn't notify all of my subscribers unless you know the thumbs ups get at a certain point and you know the comments are at a certain point they don't really they don't like to recommend videos that aren't getting that kind of love so that's why i say please always hit the thumbs up button leave comments you have nothing to say just write i love sneakers this video i worked really hard on and if you didn't see it please go and watch it because I know you're going to love the video. And I do these videos for the people to watch. And I put so much work into this Infrared 6 video. And it's really disappointing that it's not getting the actual views it should be getting. And I blame it on YouTube for not <laughs> notifying all of my damn subscribers. It is a very frustrating thing that I got going on. I've been on YouTube for a very long time. And for some reason, YouTube just refuses to notify all of my subscribers. Only the ones that watch every single video for the past couple of weeks get notified. So it's really frustrating. And, I'm, and I've been debating on stopping doing videos for a long time. But what has kept me going are the lifers that I always see in the comments. That are always leaving comments. I know all the people that... I always leave comments i always respond back i at least heart the comments so they so y'all know that i'm paying attention i really appreciate that and i also have my patreon which really shows extra extra love because of the fact that i have even more content there that is not available on youtube it's only available on the patreon we do an hour podcast every single week over at patreon.com backslash dj dells i do giveaways there q a you guys can ask me whatever you want it doesn't even have to be sneaker related it could be about anything it could be about life it could be about what's going on in the news i mean we are at 48 episodes and it's so much fun if you become a member today you unlock all of the episodes and it's such a great listen, especially, you know, if you have a job where you can listen to stuff all day or, you know, you taking a long drive. It's a lot of fun. You just hook it up, you know, Bluetooth and listen to the podcast and vibe out. You will absolutely love the podcast. I guarantee it. If you've been rocking with me, especially for a long time, you really should definitely give it a shot. Patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. That will be linked in the description box below, along with my t-shirts. Check out the Patreon, though. People love this podcast, and you are missing out if you love what I do. I'm, I'm telling you.